Hello everyone, this is Verma. In this video, we will tell you how to do the alignment quickly and correctly. Life hacks and tips, what to consider and what should not be done under any circumstances. Let us get started. How to get the most out of a laser machine and produce a high quality product with just a proper setup. For your machine to work properly, regular adjustments are required. Alignment is the process of adjusting the optical path. It works as follows. A beam comes out of the laser tube. It passes through three mirrors, enters the focusing lens and then onto the material. For the laser beam to be as effective as possible, the mirror system must be adjusted so that when the gantry and laser head move, the beam is aimed strictly at the center of the third mirror. If the beam is offset, the result will be defective, poor cutting, reduced power, beam splitting, thick or black cuts. In order to do the alignment, you will need masking tape and a little time. Set the power on the panel to 20 to 25%. Paste two to three layers of masking tape to guide hole near the first mirror. Be careful, if you paste just one layer of masking tape, it can catch fire. Press Pulse. There is a short time laser emission and we can see its imprint on the tape. It is required to adjust the position of the mirror so that the entire imprint hits the window. We move on to the second mirror. Paste the tape, run the gantry to the closest edge and fire a pulse. Fix the location of the imprint. Run the gantry to the opposite side and press pulse again. There are three set screws on the mount. Each screw deflects the mirror in its own plane. When we adjust the top screw, the mirror is deflected away from us in the opposite direction, downwards. The lower left screw, the beam goes upwards to the right. Depending on how you want to correct the position of the laser beam, you need to adjust the appropriate screw. When the dots are aligned, move the gantry. In case of a third mirror, the laser beam must hit directly in the center of the guide hole in front of the third mirror. Paste the tape, press pulse, move the cutting head to the edge and fire a pulse again. And here is a life hack. If you are unable to adjust the third mirror, do not rush to readjust. It is enough to adjust the position of the laser tube. To do this, loosen fastening and move the laser tube a little closer to the edge. Check the result with a short pulse. Remember to check the beam again on the other mirrors too, as we may have broken the optical path. When we are sure that the laser beam arrives at the same place, the center of the third mirror, in all parts of the working area, we can proceed to the final step, adjusting the position of the third mirror in relation to the focusing lens. For this, we need cellulose acetate tape. The adjustment principle is the same, but now the beam is vertical. Paste the tape to the nozzle so that there is an imprint on the tape. Press pulse, remove the tape and check. Our task is to make sure that the laser beam passes exactly through the center of this print. It must be a small round dot. It should not be oval or distorted. The final check. Set the laser head at the height of the focal distance and put a piece of plywood. Our task is to make sure that in any position of the laser head, we still have an imprint in the form of a round little dot on the plywood. You can increase the power up to 50% to make it clearer. If you are satisfied with the result, all the screws should be secured. To do this, hold the screw with your fingers so that it does not move and tighten the locking nuts with a spanner. However, do not over tighten the nuts as there is a great chance of damaging the screw. Check all the mirrors again with the tape. After the adjustment, the laser provides high quality cutting at all corners and in the middle. The alignment is complete. You can start working. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. There will be more useful videos about laser and milling machines. This is Verma. See you.